right uh, now uh, from the last week lesson so the subnetting subnetting is basically so earlier we have used uh, this class based uh, network right we had like class a network class b network c network and class d network e but uh, you know that the d e that is not used normally we are using class a b c networks so in here you have fixed length subnetwork right here 8 bit subnet here how many bits 8 plus 8 is 16 bit here uh, 8 plus 8 plus 8 is 24 bits. This is fixed, not changing. Therefore, in this network, the number of hosts, this is actually for the networks, no? the number of hosts are also fixed. Right? For an example, in this kind of network, only 8 bits are there for the hosts. <clears throat> if there are 8 bits for the host, so you know, 2 to the power 8, 2, 5, 6 computers. The first bit is allocated for the zero bit is allocated for the network address, and two five five the last bit is allow last uh, bit combination or last IP is uh, used for the broadcast broadcast address. Broadcast means sending message to everyone. It is broadcasting. So last bit is for the broadcasting last IP address. The first IP address is the network IP. If you take two to the power a two five six minus two, there are two five four valid addresses. 254 valid addresses and the first host is uh, if IP address is given the first host is the last digit last octet is one this is the given IP address the last octet will be one for the first valid host so that is there is a limitation but there are networks with like uh, let's say there is a network uh, with uh, 10 computers so, but still we have to use class C. There is a network with uh, 300 computers. Still we have to use class B because class 300 computers, then class C is not enough. No? Then we have to go to the class B network. But actually in class B network, there are eight plus eight, uh, altogether 16 bits allocated. So to the power 16, uh, 65,000 from some number. Uh, and you have to deduct one from that. that, that supporting 65,000 computers, right? So then uh, we are utilizing that network to uh, use this uh, 300 computer network. You have to utilize class B. That is the issue. So because class B support a larger number of hosts, right? Class B support here, 65,534 hosts, right? Host per network. But in order to support 300 computers, we have to use class B. That is a waste of IP addresses again. Here, class C support 254 host for even 10 computers, 20 computers, 30 computers, we have to use this. But if it's like 250 computers, this is this is okay. Right? Then that is why this uh, concept, CIDR concept was introduced, classless interdomain routing. In classless interdomain routing, what it done is basically request Oh, the, this is class C, typically class C, 255, 255, 255. But from the remaining, from the remaining host IP address, it will take some IPs, some bits, the network. That is called the variable length subnetting. Here actually the length is, we have used how many bits? 8, 8, 8, 24 plus 4 is 28 bits. So you indicate that with forward slash 28. Forward slash 28 is the CIDR notation for this variable length subnet pass. Okay. Can you calculate and send me? So if this is the network, if this is the this is the subnet mask, so can you tell me for the given IP address, this IP address, right? Consider this IP address and tell me. What is, so you have to consider this as 28, right? Not 24. CIDR notation, you have to think it as 28. Consider that as 28 and tell me, right? And tell me what is the first IP address and what is the last IP address or tell me what is the first IP address of the first network. The, uh, what is the last IP address of the first network? Or you can just tell me 
the network ip of the first network broadcast ip of the first network network ip of the first network and broadcast ip of the first network and also the first valid host ip address just try to calculate because we know already that how the calculation happens so only thing is here we are using a variable length subnet right variable length subnet so consider that and calculate what is the first valid ip of the first network and also the network ip and the broadcast ip of the first net only first network right so try that now you will try right i think uh, okay with that uh, it seems like uh, how do we calculate let's uh, show the step uh, is in the this you are given the ip address 1111111 subnet mask then uh, how to find uh, the ip address is given ip address is 192 168 uh, 168 is uh, 128 plus uh, 32 is 168. Mm -hmm. 1.1. This is the <coughs> sorry. This is the uh, IP address. Then, uh, in order to find uh, uh, the network IP, we need to add them together. When you add it, uh, you'll get one one. The same thing up to here, you are getting the same thing. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this is zero. This is zero. Then uh, this is the network IP. You can say 192.168.0.0 is the network IP. Sorry, not 0, .0, 0. My mistake. 1 .0 is the network IP. Yes, your discovery. Yes, that is correct. Right. Then the next step is uh, the finding the broadcast IP. The broadcast IP. What you can do is you can change the last bits allocated for last four bits allocated for. And this is the broadcast IP. You can change only these four bits. One, 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 one. That is the maximum that you can do. So after changing, because uh, these are only allocated for the host, others are for the network. Therefore, uh, this is the broadcast IP. You have to show with the, the facts, right? If it is the essay equation, if it is MCQ, yes, you can answer. <coughs> is the broadcast IP of the first network. Uh, and the first valid IP, uh, that is one more than the network IP 192.168.1.1 is the first valid IP. And how many hosts is uh, basically two to the power uh, 2 to the power uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 bits are allocated. 2 to the power 4 minus 2 is basically 2 to the power 4 is uh, 16 minus 2 is 14. Yeah. Then there will be 14 uh, valid hosts in this network. Right? 14 valid hosts in this network. Okay, what are the networks? So then another question that they can ask is, so what are the networks? Uh, what, are the net, what are the possible networks of this network? You have to change it like this. So network change when this IP changes. When this IP changes, network change. This is zero initially. When this is set to one, the next IP comes. So these are the valid networks. You can say... So how many valid subnets are there? Zero is a valid subnet. Then you change this to one, and that will become 16. There is a valid subnet. Then you have to change this to one, zero. That is 32. 
is also a valid one then one one which is 48 so likewise 16 by 16 there will be these are the valid subnets these are the subnets belongs to so it will go 16 by 6 add them up to like uh, the last will be 240 right 240 yes 240 you have to keep adding 48 then 48 plus 16 likewise here you would add 16 all this 16 uh, plus the next one is 16 32 plus next one is another 16 48 plus another 16 this is 64 another 16 that is 80 another 16 96 another 16 uh, likewise 112 uh, another 16 uh, 16 and 16. So likewise, it moves 9, 2, 2, 208 and 2, 2, 4, uh, uh, 240, oh, 240. And so after that, the network ends. So typically, we uh, we can skip uh, the first network and the last skip. If we are not skipping the first network and last network, there will be altogether how many networks? There will be how many subnets? Two to the power four subnets will be there. Uh, two uh, to the power four subnets means sixteen subnetworks, and uh, then uh, right, sixteen subnetworks will be there. If you skip, uh, if we skip uh, the first and last. There will be 14 subnets. Right. Uh, so, this is how the calculations happens. We have done all the calculations here. Right. Okay. Then, uh, how these questions uh, are there? Um, Here the same case, right? CID R28, 14 usable one, and there will be 16 networks. Okay, 16 new networks. This is the same example that we discussed, and 14 usable hosts for network. Others are because of this uh, broadcast IP that happens. Here, so th this story I said, mm, so you have to be aware about this because some places this is skipped. Right? To avoid the confusion, historically unaccept unacceptable to use the first and last networks. So because the first network is basically that broadcast IP is broadcast into all the subnetworks. Therefore, we are in the historical, that previously what we have done is we skip the first network and this broadcast, uh, last broadcast IP is broadcasting for all subnetworks. Therefore, so considering that we skip the last network also, uh, right? But uh, the thing is, now uh, the modern devices, modern devices, uh, you don't want to apply as two to the power n minus two formula. That means I said that uh, two things. No, you might wonder why. Right? The reason is that sometimes in like th this depends. That is why I ask you to write the conditional answers. If actually there will be 16 subnetworks. If we skip the first and last, there will be 14 subnetworks. Right. That means like in old earlier days, the first subnet and the last subnet was skipped. But now, but I don't know the where your syllabus is placing. Sometimes they treat the old method. Sometimes they consider the new method. Therefore, you have to be safe side, right? Then mention both. 
So if you normally there are 16 subjects, but if you we skip the first and last, there will be 14. So that is a valid answer. But MCQ, you can't select like that. For MCQ, I think you have to go to the modern one because <coughs> now that restriction is not there, right? This restriction is no longer there for the modern equipment of routing protocols, especially for the Cisco routing devices. <coughs> Therefore, you don't want to skip that to networks. But hosts, surely, the networks is 2 to the power n, but hosts are surely you have to skip it. Hosts are 2 to the power n minus 2. That is for the hosts. Okay, uh, I think uh, we have done up to some level with that. Hmm? And so that's the pattern, as I said, you see, it was 16 by 60. And last address is basically 1, mi one minus this previous one, that is the last. Then 0 to 15, 1, 16 to 31, another likewise. If you write 0, 16, 16 by 16, you have to write the next one, one less than this. So it's easy, right? The first address of the network, last address of the network is easy, right? How? Uh, write 16 by 16. Here, the relationship is this minus 1. This minus 1. We just said uh, 16 to this, 15 plus 16 is third one. So then you can write the network IP and the broadcast IPs like this. Sometimes they might ask the group entirely. Right? Then here, these are the, like this is the subnet address. This is the first valid host, the second, uh, last valid host, and this is the broadcast IP of that. Right, okay, uh, how questions can be asked? Let's see uh, the questions also. Mm. Yeah, here we don't have any questions. Let's move to the question part. So this is therefore Cisco examination, right? They are therefore you can find a lot of materials because the Cisco exams they are asking this, the basic examination. Therefore, you can find a lot of materials there uh, in the internet. Okay. So read the question and answer. Okay. Read the question and answer. So I, I think we read in not found in the other questions. Ah, right. They have refreshed that. Okay. Something has happened to the website. Anyway, doesn't matter. Please read the question and tell me the answer. Let's answer a few questions now. Okay. Uh, the answer that you are saying is uh, 174, 24. Uh, 25 bits are located for the VLSM variable length subnetting. That means only one bit is here. All other bits are acceptable. Uh, they're asking the broadcast address of the network. Broadcast address of the network. That is 172.24. How would this become 255? It's 25, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Then uh, why you change this one? Sir, it's a B class address, no, sir. Uh -huh. But this is VLSM, right? This is VLSM. The variable length of Nagin. Here. Even so, that we are not considered in the class here. So I wrote the last broadcast address of this IP, sir. No, 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 no. So broadcast address means you have to find some. This is VLSM, no? Variable length subnetting, no? Yes, sir. Variable length subnetting means, okay, you have to write whatever the IP address. Can you tell me the binary value of the IP address quickly? I have not calculated, but just tell me the binary value very quickly. 172, how can I write in binary? 128 plus 64, nine. Uh, 32 is 1, uh, 60, uh, 
tower 2 ya lho, 160 hmm. 12110 is it 172 you need to calculate you need to write that that is the formal way you can think and do i know then 24 just tell me whether i'm correct or wrong right 24 is a uh, 0 0 16 plus 8 1 1 0 0 0 correct Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, 112. 0. 64 plus uh, 32 is 64 plus 32 is 96. 96 uh, plus 96 plus uh, 10 is 106 plus 612. This is right. Tell me if I'm wrong. I'm just being, like doing this without the calculations. Oh, sorry. Yes, sir. One zero one zero one. Uh -huh. Then uh, zero, zero 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 zero. Then uh, this variable and subnetting comes. So don't consider much about the classes because this is not about the classes. Don't consider this is class C, class B. This is class less interdomain routing. CIDR. Now 24 with this 25. So this is how the 25th bit comes. Then how to find the network address? You have to end them together. When you end them together, the network address is 1010. 1100 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 no need to discover that. That is anyway given. I just show you the steps only, right? Then what is the broadcast? Broadcast is the maximum possible address without changing the subnet. You, you can't change subnet bits. Without changing the subnet bits, what is the maximum that you can go? To calculate that, you have to write this again and only change the subnet bits. Only change the subnet. One, 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 one. one. So that is because after that, if I change, what will happen? Network changes. Make a change if I change something after that, the network will change. We cannot change the network. Without changing the network, what is the last possible IP that you can obtain? So that is called the subject. Okay, then what is that? 172.24.112. What is this value? 127. Understood. What is the first valid IP? 172. Dot 24.112.1 is the first valid IP. The last valid IP is 172.24.112.126 is the last valid IP. How many computers are there? There will be 2 to the power 7 minus 2 computers. 2 to the power 7 is 128 minus 2 is 126 computers will be there. How many networks are possible? How many subnets are possible? Because you can only change this bit. So there is one bit. So 2 to the power 1 is only two networks. Are there. So one is 0, the other one is 1. There will be two networks. Got it or not? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay. Did you understand or not? If not, I can explain again. Understood, sir. Okay. Well, shall we go to the next question? Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. This is the next. So these are basically, so there are a lot of practice questions. You can even practice the questions from the CC <laughs> in a Cisco certification. That is also okay, but these are there. Are, there are a lot of questions that you can practice. Let's do a few more, and uh, the time now, and forty. It started by nine, right? You will not be able to complete that today. Today we'll complete these questions and finish this chapter, and after that, uh, next day we can move to the next part, right? If you write down answer for this.
mention here this kind of question you have to mention the ip range not the number because they are asking the first range no? then the ip range ip range is starting from this to this so that is basically the ip range check whether you got the same answer if not tell me then i can explain you got the same or the same but uh, the i wrote up to the broadcast id sorry that means uh, i wrote the last range as 192 168 64 63 sir. 63 3 sir. no the last valid ip is 62 right okay so they are asking the first range no? the valid host range valid here yeah. valid host range you have to tell 1 to 62. 63 is a broadcast. 0 is the IP. Network address. Right? Then 0 is the network address and 63 is the broadcast. So 1 to 62 is the range. How did you find that? Okay, let, let's do that as well. So sometimes you might confuse with the uh, explanation that I'm having. Right? Let's, uh, let's write down this quickly. So these are not difficult. Only thing is you have to identify the pattern. So one six, so you have to first write the. <laughs> this can be done. I know without the main, without considering without converting it to binary also can be done, right? So but uh, in the examination paper, please write down the binary value, right? One six eight uh, sixty four and uh, twenty six twenty eight twenty six because you have to show that that is ended. Then here 255, 255, 255, uh, 192. At least uh, let's write the last part. At least let's write the last part. 26 is uh, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 8, 24, plus 2 is 26. Here, please write 192192 is 11000000. Okay, just writing this is. And let's take the uh, IP address now 192.168.0. When you add this, you will get 64.0. Um, so that is the network IP. Right? That is the network IP. Okay. Without changing the without changing the la, uh, network bits, these are network bits. Right. So what are the network bits now in the subnet? So let me color them. Mm, these are network bits in the subnet. These two are network bits on uh, of the subnet. So you can't change these two bits. Without changing these two bits, what is the maximum possible to uh, what is the maximum possible IP to write without changing these two bits? You can write 192 because that is here. You have not changed 168, you have not changed anything. 64, you can't change because you know all these belong to 255, 255, 255 means so you can't change them. This. These are also belongs to the network. This is network, actually, this is subnetwork. Network and this is subnet. 64. Then without changing these two, you can change the last bit. 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Uh, then count it. So this is uh, 1 plus uh, 3, 3 plus 7, and 15, 15, 31, 31 plus 32 is 63. So then you can write 192.168.64.63, right? 64.63. Okay, that is what? That is the, without changing these two bits, that is called uh, the broadcasting IP. That is the last IP, broadcast. Why uh, the last IP is broadcasting? It is sent to. It is used to send messages to 
all the computers of the network. Okay, in between that, the valid range is then now you have discovered the network IP, the broadcast IP. So 192.168.62.1.1. Uh, is one more than the network IP two. 192.168.64.62 is the last valid that is one less than the broadcast, one more than the network IP to one less than the broadcast IP is the valid range. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay, let's move to the next. One more question. Try to answer this as well. Right. Uh, here, when valid host range uh, is uh, the IP address, when a valid host range is, is the IP address, this part, uh, a part of, so they're asking a part of which network? When a valid host is like, this is a part of which network? So you can just tell the network IP. Okay. So the asking the valid host is given, and you're asking this is part of which network? You just want to calculate because you know the uh, this value like 22. 22 is basically uh, you need to write down this again. Like, let me erase everything again. Not a difficult thing. Only thing is do the same thing for whatever you ask. Do the same thing. The answer will be there. Uh, 172 dot 28. But the next now you have to convert, right? Next one you have to convert because so this is 22, no? 22 can. So it is like 11, uh, so 255, uh, 255. Uh, oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Not this. 255. Then two five five. The next is uh, basically uh, how many now? Uh, eight sixteen. Uh, uh, if you take another two five five, that will be twenty four. So you have to take only without taking uh, twenty four bits. You have to take uh, here. Let me write down this. Uh, you have to take like uh, okay because you are taking only twenty two bits. 22 bits, 22 bits, and after that, again, zero. This is uh, your two, three, four, five, six. This is your uh, subnet marks. Then what you need to do is you have to convert this part uh, 238, 238, 238. Mm, let me convert 128, uh, 128 plus 64 is 192. Uh, 192 uh, plus, if you take uh, 32, it will be 224. Two, 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 mm, 224, uh, 224, uh, 292, uh, 92 plus, yeah, 224, 224, then uh, uh, here it's blank. Mm, 224 plus 16 because it is 240. Then uh, 8 is needed, 232. 4 is needed, 236. 2 is needed, 238, and 0 there. And then after that, 57. 57 is 0, 0. Uh, so no uh, 64s. 32s you have to mention. 32s uh, and uh, then uh, 16, 32 plus 16 is 48. 48 uh, plus 8 is uh, 56. 48, sorry, 48 plus 8, yeah, 56. Mm, 56, then 57, no? And then uh, 0, 0, 1. You need to convert this properly to the binary. That is the first thing. Check whether your answers are correct and tally with my answers. Okay. Then what you need to do is you need to uh, write them together. 
this is 172 because it's not going to change because 255 is all ones. 28 is 28, it's not going to change because 255 is all ones. But here you have to consider that uh, here it's one, 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 and then zero, one, 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 zero, then one, one will come. Check whether it's correct. One, 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 zero, one, one will come. The other one will be zero, zero, then all zero, zero. Okay, they're asking what is this? That is 172 dot. 28 dot um, here 224 uh, 224 and 224 plus 8 is 232 32 plus oh, 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 yeah. 192 24 plus 8 is 232 plus 4 is 236 is it I think we have done some mistake here. Two thirty eight. Okay, twenty two. This is two thirty eight, is it? So maybe my mistake in converter. This is one, uh, one is like, let's add them together, 128 plus the next bit is 64, 64 is there, plus the next bit is 32. When you add them together, 128 plus 64 is uh, 192 plus 32 is 224 plus zero, you're not adding that, the next bit is 16. Sorry, 16, not 16, the 8 plus um, 4 plus 2 plus 0. All together, this is 224 plus 8 is 232 plus 4 is 232 plus 4 is uh, 236 plus 2 is 238. Okay, that is correct. Then what is this? This is only 1, 2, 8, 64, 8, 9, 9, 32, 2, 2, 4 will come. Then this is not it coming. 8 plus 4 is 2, 36. This is 2, 36. Okay, did you understand or not? Plus the next one is 0. This is the network IP. They are asking the network IP. We have discovered network IP. Is it okay? Okay. The only thing is here actually now this is less than uh, previously we have calculated everything which is more than 24 bits. But this is less than 20, 24 bits. Only 22 bits are allocated. That is why the problem, right? So valid range means uh, the, what the valid first range is uh, they are, what is the valid host range? A part of this Omega valid range. Valid range is what? What is the valid range? This is the network IP. What is the broadcast IP? Then you have to find similar broadcast IP. 172 dot. Tell me. 28 dot. Yes. 230. Yes. What is the broadcast valid broadcast IP? can go to 230. Make up one karana one. This can even be one because this is the both can be one. Both one you know 239. Six ne metana tiene may they got one and one may they go one no nama two thirty nine dot two five five. That is the broadcast type. Now you know the range. Range is one more than this and one less than this. Okay. Okay, sir. So the network IP is this, broadcast IP is this, range is one more than that, one less than this. Okay or not okay? Okay, sir. That is the range. Here, one, uh, 236, one, because one more than this, uh, two. 
172 uh, 28 239 254 one less than this agree that is what they say okay so please go to this site subjectinquestions.com practice okay. um, after practicing i think you can do this exam uh, question very easy only thing is you need to understand the concept this is number of bits in the subject marks then don't consider about the class whether it is class A or class B, class C. Don't consider that. Just believe in the subnet mask and according to that subnet mask, understand the concept. These ones belongs to network. You are not allowed to change that. If you change some bit here, so these are uh, belongs to the network. If you change something here, it will change the network. You cannot change this. You can change this, but if you change something, this network change. Preserve these bits. Change these bits. You can start from the zero, right? Then maximum is all ones. The minimum is all zeros. Maximum is all ones. So the range is minimum is all zeros. That plus one is the starting. Maximum is all ones. That minus one is the ending. That is the concept, right? Same concept. Okay. Okay, I'll stop from here then. So do you have any doubt to us? Yes. Practice these questions, right? You can practice these questions, and if there are any difficult questions, you can ask from me. Okay. Sir. Okay. Nice. Bye.